Hi everyone. Well today I'm going to be teaching you how to make these uh, centerpieces. They are perfect like for a quinceanera, a baby shower, or even a wedding. Also, if um, you would like to purchase them, I also have them on eBay. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and move these out of the way where they won't get broken. Okay, to, um, to make them, what we will need is that we will need a cylinder base. And I get these at the Dollar Tree. You know, they're a dollar. Okay, and then you will need, uh, none of where's my, everyone, okay. You will also be needing this, and this is like an elastic, and I get this at Walmart. And then you, you put this around, around here, and then that's how you're going to measure it. And then you, you're going to glue, or you can even sew the, the ends of it okay and then um once you've already done that now you're not going to glue it to the base you're going to glue these together once you do that you will go ahead and you will get some tool this size and this is what you're going to be using for your tutu okay now i go ahead and i use the cardboard you know I cut them that way I can kind of measure it and see how how many inches I'm gonna need for this of tool and for it can go faster that way I don't have to be cutting them individually so go ahead and get your and it depends how long you want your tutu and once you get that you're going to go ahead and then I do have a piece somewhere that I've already cut your, uh, of this. Then once you get your piece, you're going to cut your little cardboard to measure it. No, that one right there, that piece. Yeah. So as you can see, this is the, the piece that I cut and see how it's going to, it's going to go all around my, my little cardboard box goes two times around right so this is what you're going to want and then when you once you get the measurements which is this that's how you're going to measure this how long this is then you're going to get your tool i needed to cut the ends right there and you're going to kind of go all around it see I usually let mine fall to the floor. Go all around it, it's really easy. This is gonna save time. And usually when I cut it, I, I when I go around it, I go like half, half the row or the whole row. And you can do whichever one you'd like. And you're gonna go up here. And you're gonna your end and there you go now when you've already gotten your the size of your ribbons you're gonna go ahead you're gonna put it in here there are the little feathers and then go like this twist make a little knot Kinda go down, and then I make a, another little knot. Now I like mine kind of full, so I kind of just put a whole bunch of tool on mine, and there it goes. It's gonna look like this. Now um, here's one that I've, you know, I'm that I started on. And see how full it looks because I keep on putting it and putting it. And you can, you know, do it doesn't is you don't have to do pink, you know, you can do any color that you like. And then I kind of go all around it. And then once you've already done it, 
it's gonna look like this it'll be nice and full then you go ahead and you put it over your cylinder base Now, I use three, three things to go around mine. Now, you can use whatever you want. This isn't really the, the <laughs> this wasn't really the, the lace that I was looking for, but it's going to have to do. And what I do, I go ahead and glue it. You can glue it or you can even sew it, you know, if you like to sew all around your, your tool thing. Then when I do that, I go ahead and put that lace around there. Then I'm going to go ahead. Oh, let me show you all this. This is also the foam that you will be using to put on top of here. And you can glue it to kind of secure it. And then after you put your lace right here, then you can pull your, put your rhinestone um, ribbon over here. And this, they also sell this at the Dollar Tree, and um, you can find it there. But, you know, you can put something else if you want. Then after I go ahead and I put my lace, and then I put this, then I'm going to go ahead and put, I found this at Joanne's, and I put this over. I kind of glue it like this. Isn't that easy to do? Then after you do that, I get these, I got these bunches of flowers and um, roses. And then I got, you can get them at Michael's, Hobby Lobby or Joanne's. I usually get them when they're 50% off. I don't pay, you know, the, the full price for them. Get your wire cutters, cut them. Nana, will you take this over there and get me the other one, Abriana? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you're going to go ahead and cut them like this size, and I think this one has six. And here's the, the, the foam that you put right there, and you just put these around there. Now how simple is that? And it's so easy to make. Oh, bring them all over here again. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel. Um, push the little um, the little bell button and you'll get notifications on my upcoming videos. I will be making a Father's Day uh, tutorial, Father's Day gift tutorial and another wreath that I am making tutorial this week. So 